the Earth just got lucky. In 2017, the sun was on its way down in its cycle of activity, but a sunspot that had many questioning that downward trend has now unleashed a planet killer. Here at Earth, satellites in orbit detected an X 8.2 solar flare, but the sunspot had already turned over the limb out of view. We saw the elevated after effects of the primary eruption, which must have topped out well over X10 or perhaps X20 or more. Analysis of the CME shockwave cloud bolsters this guess. The powerful X-ray energy electromagnetically blasted out particles in the corona, the solar atmosphere, including a moon's worth of material in the large looping umbral magnetic fields above the sunspot, which are entirely blown out by the solar flare. The eruption sent a shockwave through the corona that reached the Earth-facing half of the sun, rippling back, all the way to center disk in the southern hemisphere. From space-based coronagraphs blocking out central solar glare, we can see the enormity of the eruption. The static you see hitting the frame is proton radiation from the eruption itself. Now compare that with an X9.3 solar flare that was facing Earth less than a week earlier from that sunspot, and while it did surge similar particles to Earth and the satellite, it's nothing compared to the bombardment and saturation we are seeing with this event, and remember, it took place on a part of the Sun we can't see from Earth. All planets are magnetically connected to the Sun, creating flux transfer events of plasma, and this solar flare occurred where Earth's magnetic connection to the Sun is often found, allowing the solar protons to surge to incredible levels, even among the highest energy protons in the 100 million volt range. These storms can last for hours to days and can be reignited by subsequent activity, even from the far side of the sun. Proton radiation comes with other forms of radiation as well, and astronauts in high-latitude polar flights are most at risk. These particles are cosmic rays of a sort, and so the corresponding health effects in the available literature apply, based partly on magnetic latitude, with again, polar being worst. We might also notice GPS, satellite, communication, and internet trouble until the storm subsides into level 1 territory or lower. The primary kinds of solar storms we look for with big solar flares are geomagnetic from the CME impact, and luckily, that's primarily going at Mercury, Venus, and Mars. As I said, the Earth got lucky. But truly, a titanic event and a possible planet killer has erupted from that sunspot once it has gone out of view. Be safe, everyone.